Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today. I am getting ready to go to a little day retreat here in my town, and um, it's a three-day retreat, and I am going to work on this journal. So uh, I wanted to get some pages done for this, so um, we'll get to that in a second. Let's say hi and hugs to DJ, Stephanie, Dana, Lorraine, and Petra. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments and everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to be in my craft room this morning. It's, you know, I'm filming ahead as I do and as I'm doing more of because uh, life is opening up. And um, anyway, so it, it, today's Monday, really. But let's see, I think I think this is airing on Thursday. So I'll already be at my little day retreat. But what I thought I would do there is do, um, I wanted to do uh, a lot of these Kathy Holden fabric covers at my week-long retreat, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. But I thought I'd just do one journal with kind of one theme for this little in-town retreat that I'm going to. It's kind of... It's kind of like a crop, except there's quilters and there's scrapbookers and card makers. There's a little of everything. And me <laughs> with the journals. So, anywho, um, I picked this cover. This is, uh, I believe, from the Flea Market Mix collection. And um, it's the... Uh, needlepoint one and then I've um I've just gone around and stitched here where the patterns change made the cover the inside is is this wonderful um texty one and then the kit that I'm gonna or the yeah the digital kit that I'm gonna use is this gorgeous kit by Amy at Crafty Cat USA it's called So Fun S-E-W Fun and isn't it so fun? <laughs> oh, I just think it's such a cool kit. And so anyway, I've been dying to work with it. So I decided this would be a fun, happy thing to use um, while I'm at this retreat. And so I, I just love, love, love it. It is, it is so, so cute. And it's got the ladies. And so... Um, they do with um huh. okay well oh hello gail it's right here <laughs> i was like i cut out the ephemera where'd it go <laughs> okay <clears throat> so anyway that is the kit i had a little goober right there from my printer so i need to cover that up it's not bad on this side um, I'm going to use this collage page, which um, has my feed sack fabric digitals. So that was perfect. And then this little page is from Rhonda at Rhonda without an H. And it's got this adorable little pocket here and some stitching and it's pink and so it's just it's so, it's so good so that's what i have put together so far um and then i've cut out i've cut out some things i also have these two tags this is stamperia paper but you know it's the needle and thread and buttons and stuff so i thought i'd put that with it i'll show if we have time at the end i'll show you what else we have um that that i'm gonna put with this okay so I want to make some papers. I'm going to set this pattern aside. This is a pattern, let's see, it's 1963. And I am going to use that to make some pages. I've got coffee dyed paper here that I want to try something with. So we're just going to get to it. You know what? I need to take this off for this part because I'm going to, I may get goopy. So first, let's try this. First, let's try what I'm thinking here. Um, I think, let's see, I think I will grab, I can just grab a couple of paper towels. 
I'll be fine. I don't have to get up and grab the other thing. Okay, then, um, then I'm going to grab this. It's called Deco Magic. I got this um, in one of my Mixed Media Minnesota kits. And I'm going to try it on this. Okay, so what I was thinking is I would like to make a couple pages where I take some pattern and um, and just glue it on the paper. I was thinking more collage though, so I might tear up a bit because I have some little pieces here too that would be that would be kind of fun. And I'm thinking that you could maybe still write on it. That's that's my hope anyway. Okay, let's just get to it. I'm just gonna um I'm thinking like this might be too patterned because if I want to write on it, like maybe we could use maybe we could just use um this bottom part because it's got a little but not too much this one maybe it has a little too much let's see what else do we have do i have any see i have this bag of pattern pieces got a whole pattern in there oh it's a it's a christmas stocking i thought i had some smaller pieces but maybe not i don't know yeah, well, we'll just dig and we'll get what we get what we need. Okay. So, yeah, so this will be good here. And I'm thinking I'll go over the edges and that doesn't matter cuz I can trim it down, right? So, but I'll take that off like that. Okay. Okay, we're going to get we're going to get to it here. I don't know exactly the best way to do this, but I'm just going to or out a little bit. I'm not super familiar with this product other than I did do, I think I did one project with it, but um, uh, I usually use Mod Podge and Mod Podge would work for this too if you don't have this stuff. So yeah, I was just thinking, wouldn't this be kind of fun? I don't know, never have done it before. So we'll see what we get. No biggie if it doesn't work like I want it to. So, anyway, hope you're all having a good day. I just, um, I've been thinking about this all weekend. So, so I'm really excited to, to get this little, this little project on the road, if you will. So, yeah, I didn't quite get down to the edge, did I? There we go. Okay, I'll get these down and then we'll then we'll go over we'll go over the top too. But Yeah, just something a little different that I hadn't done before. So, I think it's I think maybe it's gonna work too now this one we could just go like that I'm just gonna get rid of that little little point there and yeah we'll just line that up kind of right there okay ah. <laughs> I might have to I might have to work fast here but yeah, so anyway, um, we ended up not getting snow on the weekend. We were forecast to, and well, we kind of did. It was like that little, um, that little, I don't know what you would call it, the little sleety, snowy stuff. We did get that, but I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, it's just like the idea of snow, snow is kind of, you know, we're, we're done with that for the season, says Gail, <laughs> who has no control whatsoever. 
Okay. Um, how about, yeah, how about some of this? It's, it's not quite fitting like I want it to. Oh, here's a big old piece. And this is blue, too. I'm going to just rip it and go. Rip it and go, that's what. So we can kind of go like that. Okay. This is a bit, uh, a bit more runny than Mod Podge, I would say. Okay, we'll probably have to get the edges a little bit again, but that's okay. That right about there. I don't want it to be wrinkly. Too wrinkly. A little bit wrinkly is okay. Okay. So we had a bit of a disappointment today. Um, we were planning next Monday to go to my son's to watch my, uh, his youngest, um, compete in a track meet and but we didn't know about it and we scheduled the people to turn on our sprinklers and of course they need to get in the house for that and everything and um and so I don't think we're gonna be able to go now we're just gonna have to stay home and tend to that because they can't get us if we cancel they can't get us back in until um, like June, and that's too late. Our grass would be dead. So it's kind of a bummer. I hear my husband talking to my son on the phone right now, kind of canceling out. Such a bummer. <laughs> it's like life has opened up a bit, and now there's there's too much to do and not enough time to do it in. Oh, West waiting. But, but she's a seventh grader, so she does have more time, but she's doing really good in the hurdles. And, and our son was a hurdler, and we just so badly wanted to see her do it. Now, I think this coating on top will help it from like, you know, toughen it up, not help it not tear. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. <laughs> we'll see. I had, um, I, I brought over two pieces of coffee dyed paper to, to do, but, um, I think we'll do this one and let it dry and see, see what it does before, before attempting it again. I could try one with just Mod Podge too. That might be a good thing. I'm I'm trying to get it fairly thin because it doesn't need to be super th thick. It just needs to have a coating. So, yeah. So anyway, there you have it. But. So that would have affected my <laughs> my video videoing too. Um, yeah, I wanted to say, you know, with life opening up, there just there just is a chance that I won't I won't get one done every day. Um, and so if I miss a day, don't don't worry. It's just that I'm doing life, okay? I, I think I'll be saying that in the next few videos just because, um, I mean, I don't want you to worry, but I also don't want 
to stress about it because that's no fun stressing about it. So. Just trying to conserve product here. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see what we get there. You know, I think I might wipe that off. Just so that the lid doesn't stick. Okay. Well, there's the first experiment. We'll see how that works. Let's see, I better wipe off my wipe off my brush too. I do have these um, silicone brushes. They're super cheap. Um, sorry, I had to get a wet one. Um, if you can, if you can't find them at your dollar store, I do have them on my favorite things too. Um, yeah. So, okay. So I'm just gonna put that aside for a second. Pick up a few of these papers. And we'll see, we'll see kind of what we get. I have no idea. Um, I think I need coffee dye. Oh, I need coffee dyed paper for the thing I was thinking of doing. I need to, what I need to do is I need to watch um, Crafty Cat. She's just plain old Crafty Cat on YouTube. She did do a sewing journal and... Um, I wasn't able to watch that series, but I need to, to see if she has any awesome ideas I can borrow. I'm sure she does because she's awesome. Okay, there we go. We're going to set that aside somewhere. Let's just set it here for now. Okay, so I kind of want to play with this. Um. One is, and basically what I wanted to do is do some things at home that, you know, would be more difficult to do at the little retreats. Some stuff I could do at the retreat. Okay, I want to do some stuff with this, and I know Amy had some ideas with this stuff, so, yeah. All right, so, but I wanted to use this. And it's got this little flap at the bottom. So I think what I might do is it's, it's got a little, it's got a little tear thing and that's kind of fun because it makes it jaggedy. I'm just gonna take that off and I'll use that somewhere Somewhere, somewhere. What I'm thinking is of using it as a page. Now it's a little over six is the trouble. But I could fold it over. Okay, I think I'm, I'm gonna just dive in and we'll see what we get. I um, went to a garage sale at one point. It's been a couple of years ago now. And the gal had so many patterns. Like she had made her own clothes her whole life. And um, she was, I think she was in her 80s. She's passed away now. But hello, Bev in heaven. That super nice lady was a friend of my mom's. Um, and so she had a whole box of pat, uh, a whole bunch of patterns. And I bought some. And then, then I went to this other garage sale and they had a whole box of patterns. And I, I bought those. I've been going to put them on my Etsy, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm thinking I want to back this 
and this is a little fragile here it's it's coming apart so I'm thinking I maybe want to strengthen the spine because this is going to be in the signature was my thought. Um, talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to get some Tyvek. Okay. So I just cut up these... Um, these mailers is what I do when I get them in the mail. I save them and then I cut them up for to strengthen spines and such. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna glue that on there. Let's see if we can cut it about the right about right there. I'll trim it off later. There. All right, so now I am just going to glue that. Um, I think I'll just use art glitter glue. Glue stick would probably work too, and we're going to cover it up. So we just need it to stick down for the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on there and kind of try and straighten out the crumples here. Now, interestingly, this page is a bit shorter than this page, so that's kind of interesting. How might I do that? I don't know. This is a whole day of experimenting here. Right? So, not a tutorial. It's a it's a see what happens kind of a video. Um, I think I want some washi tape on here too just to do this side a bit. Um, how about, let's see. I was kind of looking at these. Tim Holtz wants to see if I had one that was like a pattern. Yeah. I think I'll just use these flowers. Is that gonna be thick enough? Oh my goodness, excuse me. I I, I tell you, I have sneezed in the last, I don't know how many videos. This one. I think I'm going to use this one. I just want a little wider than the flower one is. So, um... Brand new. Haven't even used it. Yeah, that's going to be good. It's got some measurements on it, but I mean, they're not sewing measurements, but that's okay. It kind of looks like sewing measurements. Okay. Yeah, so I have, uh, I have no idea what tomorrow's video is going to be. And I need to I need to film it right after this one. So that'll be interesting. We'll just we'll see what we end up coming up with. I think that's straight. Looks pretty good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll we'll find uh, we'll find something to do. I have still unfinished projects all over the place, so that's a that's a good thing, I guess. I'm thinking of leaving this. I'm thinking of putting like a a pocket there. Like something, something, you know, like that. Or something. 
Anyway, let's worry about this side. This side needs to be covered. So I was thinking. Okay. So that's not necessarily going to work. I'm going to use some scraps. And, ooh, this is a pretty scrap. Isn't that pretty? Let's, let's do that down the middle. There's my tear ruler. You can see I'm totally winging this, but um, I think it'll be fun. Let's see here, let's line you up. Yeah, it's a good half inch, <laughs> half inch less. Okay, um, so, so there's that. Glue block. over here. Mm. Don't put that there. Whoops, had it upside down. That's what you get when you have have your ruler upside down. Oh my gosh, Gail. Hey, it's it's been a few days since I've been in the craft room. <laughs> you can tell, huh? Um, I did do I've tried to do just a little bit of fussy cutting each day of the weekend. Um Uh, just to just to get like the ephemera for the various journals that I want to do at my week long retreat, which is starting to come together. I'm excited. I have a lot to do though. Because this one I'm the host of, so you know, so I have more stuff to do, but then than I did the last one that I went to. No, that's okay. Okay. So maybe we'll do, use this piece like down this side or something, huh? I kind of like it sideways, however. It might go down this And that's fine. It doesn't have to. Okay, I think I like this side better. Yeah, so anywho, um, yeah, that one's coming together a little bit. I need to figure out a few things, but yeah, we'll we'll get there. Kinda just wish I wasn't so ramped for time. Time. It is of the essence, isn't it? I, I have this little piece. Let's do that up in the corner, maybe. Just kind of see how this turns out. I don't know. I just, um, I just thought it would be fun to make a page out of a pattern jacket. Okay. I wish I had, do I have, um, I've got some backgrounds here. I'd like some pink. Oh, ask, 
and you shall receive. This is from Paper Lace Moments on Etsy. So, yeah, and I'm feeling like once I get packed up for that retreat, I might have to do some weird videos that are just like stuff I still have in my craft room. <laughs> after packing the whole thing up. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. All right, so I have bits of this I can use. Do I wanna go that way? Do I wanna, I think I'll go that way. Just tear off a bit here. And I think I'll go down into that just a little bit. So, so we have the plumbers coming today to take out the utility sink that is in our garage, which we've lived here 10 years and we've never used because it, it, I don't know if it wasn't plumbed well to begin with or what, but it leaked. So we just shut it off. We just have never, we haven't needed it. So that's just fine. Um, but anyways, Mike's truck won't fit, <laughs> which just cracks me up. It's just so funny to me. It's like, Oh my gosh, big, big truck. So, yeah, so anyway. <laughs> we have a, oh, look, that's just the right size. Let's do that. Um, we have a plumbing company here that we've used for all our plumbing needs since we've moved into this house, and they are just great. It's called Three Brothers, and it's literally three brothers. And one of the brothers' wives um, runs the office, and oh, I love her. She is just, talk about, she's got those guys snap to get on it. <laughs> no messing around with her. She is, she is great. So, should we use maybe a little bit of... This? Yeah, let's use a little bit of that. Yeah, so anyway, um, we have, I forget why now, but we had to go, oh, maybe we went out to pay a bill or something. <clears throat> but we spent a little time chatting with her and everything because she knows we're, <laughs> she knows we're good customers that we, um, have used them a lot and stuff. Anywho, um, like they put in our air, uh, a new air conditioner. They put in a new water heater. Uh, we've had floods <laughs> that they fixed and stuff. And so um, that the one that w was the worst was our um, ice maker on our refrigerator. The line broke or something and it flooded the storage room lovely but um anyways so we had a big visit with her one day and oh my gosh she's hilarious like there is no funny business in her plumbing company <laughs> don't be messing around get the customer taken care of you know she is just a hoot so anyway, they're going to come take out the sink, and then we're going to take the sink to the restore, so hopefully someone else can get some benefit out of it. Okay, well, we got that covered. We did, we did. That feels like an accomplishment. Okay, so, ooh, gosh, I'm throwing papers on my wet paper over there. It's starting to get dry. Okay. So we did that. Now what? Um, so let's see. 
minutes. Kind of don't want to fold it till it's dry. So I'm going to set that aside to dry now. We've got a lot of drying going on today. <laughs> okay, move those out of the way. All right, so then the other thing I wanted to do, one other thing I was thinking of doing is I wanted to look at these window envelopes and let me get my, let me get my signature here. Because what I was thinking could be cool is to make a page out of those and then have the lady, a lady shining through the window. And this be a page as well. Hmm, I might have to change out the one I want in front because I think she would. Yep. Okay, so I was going to have her in the front, but... See, I'm thinking if this was, pretend this is a page, and this was the page over her, see how she'd show through the next page? Wouldn't that be kind of fun? So, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's make this six inches. See, is that going to fit? No. Oh my gosh. So let's do this one. I had to get rid of a few things here. My washi tape for one. Just put these over here. Okay. So six inches is right about there. Okay. Well, it's close to six inches, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. To where it's a nice straight edge how about okay let's do that Got that and then we're gonna want it eight and a half so we're gonna need to cut off this bottom part I might keep that okay so then I'm going to open it up also. I'm going to have to glue that. You can see. Okay. So then this is what we have. So we have some collaging to do on that. Let's look here. I need to need to get this glued on it's kind of coming off there which happens when you coffee dye these but okay so like this page I'll probably leave for um, journaling on except for this and right up there and then of course we have some work to do on this a little bit. I mean, I might just put something up there. I kind of like that. And I love the coffee dyeing. So, and then the inside we can go cray cray on. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. But, um, I am going to grab... It was right behind me, but I'm going to grab my feed sack fabric because I think it goes awesome with the, the sewing and this era. I mean, even though feed sack fabric was well before this era. Okay, so we have that for collage. I'm thinking about like just a little side pocket right there. Um, I was just double checking the kit just to make sure I didn't have like a long strip. I mean, some of them come with, you know, long strips there. So, okay, good. That means we want some of this. 
and I'm feeling either this one or I love this one too. I think this one. Yep. Okay. So let's, you guys are going to have to keep an eye on me because um, I don't want to, don't want to go over on time, but I'm just having fun here and doing all these, these three little different pages. Yeah, and I just thought, you know, I'm just going to kind of do these here at home and have, I think what I'm planning to do is have the signature ready to go. And then I'll um, just do ephemera. So that's something I need to do is look through my ephemera and see see what it is that I have that could possibly go in this um, in this journal. Let's see, what are we doing this way? Yep, that, I think it's a little short. Maybe we'll go this way. Okay, so I think what I want to do is go this way, and I'm just. Just gonna go right about there, I think. Kind of just make a make a slim pocket for this. Straight. Okay. And then go this way. Itty bitty little scrap. <laughs> you know, we use those too, though. Okay, so I'm thinking that could go there. Of course, I made it a little long. Maybe not. Can't see what I'm doing here. A little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to put a thumb notch in that. About midway-ish. Probably should have my brace on. I just thought of that. I will put it on before I, before I do the um, distressing. Oops. I took it off for the Mod Podgy stuff. Um, let me just double check the time. Oh my gosh, time flies when you're having fun. Okay. Okay. Well. We don't, I mean, we don't have a lot to do on the other ones. So maybe this is, maybe my video for tomorrow is finishing this up. Because I wanted to show you what's in my sewing box too. Show you slash look and see what I might want to use out of my sewing box. So, so we might have a part two to this is what I'm thinking. Um, cause I want to do, I want to do stuff on this and still got some stuff to do on the pattern. So I think there might be a part two is what I'm saying. Cause I'm not going to rush. I just, I, I refuse, <laughs> refuse to rush. Oh, isn't that going to be pretty though? Okay. Let's see. So we just need to put it on as a pocket on three sides. And something can be tucked in there. Okay. I need to. I'm going to need to. Uh, see, I don't know if that's going to. Nope. Let's put it on the envelope instead. Did I not do the bottom? I thought I did the bottom. Yeah, I did. 
too worried about the time and just getting all sorts of befuddled here. Okay, I'm just going to trim that. Put glue on my scissors. Okay. Well, that was harder than it needed to be, but I think we're on there now. Nice and tight. And then we need to do something over there. I wonder... I was wondering if I could use something from the embellishments. Those are all tags. Journal card. Oh, there's ladies. I could put a lady right there. She'll kind of be in the crease, though. And I don't think she'll cover it up. So, what else do we have? Itty baby bits. That could be good. What The reason I didn't cut those out is I was hoping one of my punches would cut them out, but... I don't know, this one's too big. Yep, this one's too big. Let's see what I have over here. Um, oh, there it is. This one. too big. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna, this is gonna be too small, isn't it? Oh, it's very close. We're calling it, calling it close enough. Got a lot, little, like quarter of an inch or something. Oh. Almost covers it, not quite though. Okay. Well, the good news is we have these clipped out now. So, so that's good. <laughs> but I still don't know what I'm going to use to cover that up. My, my brain is going, wondering if I have any, like, measuring tape or something. Let's look, let's look in this use it up. I thought I, well, I have this. Oh, that's gonna work. <laughs> Not only did I find the perfect thing, it's uh, from the use it up bin. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac for that, I think. Let's see, do I want it to go? I think I want it to go this way. Yeah, it's just a little embellishment, but just to hide that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Puts a little bulk towards the, um, towards the spine, which normally I wouldn't want to do, but it's okay. There we go, did that, okay. So now, um, I think what I'm gonna do, set that aside to dry a little bit. We'll work on this in tomorrow's video. We'll fin finish working on this in tomorrow's video too. And let's see, let's see how this is doing. I probably got it all, yeah, I sure did. Got it attached to the paper towel, which I did not want to do, but oh well. Oh my gosh. So paper towel doesn't work well. I should have taken the time to, uh, I should have taken the time to get my um, drop cloths, or my drop papers, I mean. Doggone it. That's no good. Well, we'll just glue it down and we'll just glue them down and say, it's grungy.
Not too bad. It's salvageable. Got a little more there than I needed. Okay, then I want to cut that off. And then I think I'm going to um, put it over under my heater to dry a bit more. Okay, okay, crisis averted, sort of. There's some more right here. It's okay. Okay, so I like how it feels very much. Very fun. So I'm thinking I'll take this journal and I'll also take my ephemera box. So if I get done with the journal by chance, then I still have stuff to do. The great thing about this one, though, is we go home every night. We sleep at home, and so I can always grab stuff. And then also, I mean, really, if I was desperate for something, I could just run home and get it. However, the um, retreat space is, oh gosh, what is it? It's probably, it's probably a good 20 minutes from my house, so... I don't want to waste that time, so I'll try and take everything that I need. Okay, let's see how it looks. I can keep that piece for future. Oh, this is garbage though. Okay, isn't that kind of cool? Oops, missed a spot. I like that. And this one, for some reason, is a little more shiny. It must have been just a different, was a different um, paper, a different pattern paper. Yeah, that's going to be cute. That's going to give some extra texture, isn't it? And I mean, you could still write on that if you wanted to. Oh, I like it. I'm real happy with that. I don't think I need another one for this book, you know, because I like to have a variety. But but I may, I may try doing that again on something else because... That's real fun. Okay, so we did that. We're not finished with this page. And we're not finished with this page. I think this one we can fold now, though. I think so. Maybe. It's just... I'm going to... Um, match up the tops because I know the bottom is off. Okay. Let's get a the bone folder. What would we do without the bone folder? I don't know. I personally couldn't live without it. There we go. Okay. Now that is... Ooh. Oh yeah, I was gonna I was gonna um, fold it. That's what I was gonna do. Right? Like that. Okay. And then that can just be a little tuck spot right there. Okay, that's a cute page, huh? And then I guess we need to fold this one too, don't we? Yeah, which is good because before I put something on the bottom here, 
Hmm. Okay. So those will just be little tucks. That is a thick page, mind you. But it feels real sturdy. Okay, so that's where we got to. And I think we'll just do another video finishing these up. And then I have one other idea that if we have time next time, we can get done and get it done prior to um, prior to our retreat. So thanks everybody so much for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day and enjoy your day today. And we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.